all right so in this video like i said before we will see how to replace the eac on the omni terminator so here we have the 60 amp eac from the factory and it's capable up to 3s lipo battery so to replace this uh, we will have to remove these two screws from the bottom of the chassis and these are 1.5 millimeter hex screws So once we remove them, we can lift the ESC and as we can see that the ESC is actually zip tied on a plastic mount. Remove the motor wires. cut the zip ties now this ESC is not that bad it's actually quite good because of all the metal parts and the weight of the truck the 3s power is not sufficient for this model that's the reason why most omni terminator owners would want to upgrade to a 4s ESC on this and the ESC is actually stuck with the adhesive tape So here we have the ESC mount and our ESC is separated. Now we need to unplug the ESC wire from the receiver. So with the 2.5 millimeter hex screwdriver, we will remove the receiver cover. And disconnect the ESC wire. So once we disconnect the two wires from the ESC, carefully remove them from the receiver box you can use a tweezer to make it easier so we can see that there's a bracket on the receiver box through which we have to route the wires so once we remove the ESC all the way from the truck we can install the new one the good thing about this ESC is that the fan on this ESC is a lot more powerful and it keeps the ESC cool. So here I have the Hobbywing 120 amp ESC. Now this one is a rebranded version of the Hobbywing but we can program this and adjust the punch level and all that. And it's 4 is capable and to my surprise this actually fits quite well on the chassis. So we don't have to adjust the battery tray or change the mounting position as such. So here we can see that once the ESC mount is placed on the chassis, we can simply place the ESC on the mount and zip tie it just as before. But just a small tip if you do decide to upgrade the ESC with this 120 amp ESC or any other ESC which can fit on the stock ESC plate to make things easier when you mount the ESC on the mounting plate place it a bit on the left side so that the two slots on the bottom of the ESC mount can actually align on the chassis holes and that way you can avoid having to fiddle around trying to fix the bracket on the chassis now I'm just using one zip tie in the center 
and that should be enough. So as you can see that on the bottom we have these two slots where the plastic posts are supposed to rest. You need to make sure that these two tabs are actually in place and then screw the ESC mount. The ESC has been set up on the truck and it's quite secure and solid and connect the motor wires route the ESC wire to the brackets connect it on the receiver Be sure to plug it on the channel 2 and in the right order. And I fixed the on off switch over here. Now here's how I have fixed the wires of the motor and ESC on the chassis with a zip tie. So I think this is a better option rather than having to mount the ESC on the top chassis brace unless you want to use a bigger battery. Now this ESC has a Deans connector on it, so I'll be replacing this with the XT60. But before that, uh, let me just make sure that the motor direction is correct. And we do need to calibrate the ESC, just like a hobby wing ESC. So once the radio is calibrated with the speed controller, I've connected this to the programming box. With this particular ESC we can adjust the first 5 settings, so the running mode, the drag brake force, low voltage cutoff, the punch level and the max brake force. So depending on what ESC you get, you might have more options. Now one thing which some of you might ask is that I haven't switched the motor to a 4S1. So whether you want to upgrade the motor or leave it at stock with a 4S ESC is completely your choice. I'm just going to run the stock motor for now and it should be alright. Here I've replaced the power connector with the XT60. So there we have it. Uh, that's how we replace the ESC on our Omni Terminator. I hope you found this video informative and helpful as always. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and stay tuned for more content. Until then, that's all I have to share. Thanks a lot for watching.